Science. Also starring Alexis Larson. Welcome to our 1960s edition of Mysticast. In, in Living, living color. color. This episode is fully dedicated to a major decade in history, the 1960s, a time of turmoil and transformation. This, this is, is Mysticast. BSC's 60s theme symposium hosted many amazing speakers, two of whom were Mary Ann Watson and Mark Lytle. Alexis Larson got an interview with both speakers before the symposium. Both speakers were contacted by Clay Jenkinson and couldn't wait to present at the symposium. I've written about the 60s and I've researched the 60s and it just seemed what a great opportunity to be part of what he promised was going to be an amazing assemblage of intellect and experience and he made good on that promise. He said he'd read my book and really liked it and felt it embodied the spirit of the convention of the of the symposium and so once he said that I thought how could I not anybody who likes my book I like them. <laughs> Mary Ann's presentation is on television during the 60s called Television Changes the Picture. Television was part and parcel of social change that without the medium these transformations like the women's movement, um, the civil rights movement, the uh, anti-war movement, all that would have happened, but television, because of television, the force and the rapidity of the change was greater. Mark's job is to do a summary of all the speakers at the end of the symposium. Bring it together to draw some conclusions, at least, about what this group has had to say about the 1960s. Mark said the 60s is so iconic because of the impact of certain cultural events. The arrival of the Beatles in the United States, people started dressing differently, behaving differently after the discovery for many young people of dope as opposed to drugs, uh, you know, deciding to get high, but there was also the sexual revolution of the 1960s that was a, is more important in some ways to women than to men, and uh, there were just so many uh, events, trends that happened that none of us ever expected. Those speakers helped make the symposium a great event. Our very own Tanner Hostetter approached audience members at the symposium and asked them about the 60s. Here's more on the story. Marty and Doc would be proud because BSC successfully went back in time to the 60s. This is really uh, unique that BSC is doing this and going back to the 60s because the majority of the people can still relate back to the 60s. And I think it's really a unique event. I think there's something for everybody. Last week's 60s symposium was packed with people and full of knowledge from the 60s, which drew a lot of people to learn about a very important part in our history. I've always been fascinated with history. This is a, a fascinating event, one of the most tumultuous and uh, controversial periods in our history. But this and the 60s really attract me, certain areas more than others, and of course Bob Eubanks. There were many things to learn, and you just realized how important the 60s were after listening. Freedom Summer, we could go with the Vietnam War throughout the entire thing. There's a, the Civil Rights Movement and the Vietnam War are the defining events. Either Civil Rights Movement and the Women's Liberation Movement. But now with the 60s in our memories, we can continue to improve our future and look forward to, to 2016 better understanding of how we got to where we are today. You know, by learning what happened in the 60s and 70s, basically that set the stage for where we are now. So the more you learn about that, the more you understand of where we are today and how we can move into the future from this point. I realize I'm still from BSC Mysticast, I'm fellow time traveler, Tanner Hostetter. Tanner seems to be quite the adventurer. He sure does, Alexis. Scott Mann went down to ask some 60s-themed questions to local students in the student union. Here we present episode two of Man on the Street with Scott Mann. Hello everyone and welcome to Man on the Street with Scott Mann. Since the 60s symposium is going on right now, I thought I'd ask the students about the 60s. Here we go. All right, what do you know about the 60s, like any facts or anything? Um, I guess I don't know that much. I listen to some of the music and that's probably about it. Well, we were very heavily involved with Vietnam. Uh, John F. Kennedy was assassinated that year. You had the civil rights movement, um, lots of huge things happened, I mean, it was a major turning point in America. Packers, I think Packers won the Super Bowl that year twice. Uh, the TV show Be Leave it to Beaver, and then Beverly Hillbillies. Quiz time, what year did we land on the moon? 69. 
1980, I don't know. 1969. 1969. How many presidents did we have during the 1960s? Five to ten, I don't know. Four. Twenty? It's gotta be two. Uh, you're close, it's four. four. We had four presidents. Four what were the two most important wars of the 1960s? I have no idea. I should know this and I don't. Vietnam, Bay of Pigs, Vietnam War in Japan, I don't know. The Cold War and then I want to say Vietnam. Thanks for watching our episode on the 1960s. Stay tuned for next episode where we'll have another Man on the Street with Scott Mann. Wow, that was really cool. Some of them might need to brush up on their 1960s history. Definitely. One small step for man, one giant leap for Mysticast. Our own Jacob Gathman got an exclusive interview with space historian Andrew Chaikin. Andrew Chaikin is a space historian who has written several books about space. He grew up during the space race in the 1960s. When I was growing up, I was completely captivated by space exploration and by the Apollo moon missions. And it turns out, uh, the way life goes, that I grew up to be a space historian. I wanted to be an astronaut, but that wasn't going to happen. Andrew Chaikin went to college to study geology so he could participate in studying the landforms of other planets. And it was sort of almost by accident that a couple of years after college I kind of took a turn into writing about space and space science. And that's where, what I've been doing ever since. Andrew Chaikin traveled all the way from Vermont to Bismarck State College to participate in speaking at the 60s Symposium. I'll be talking about the moon program and how it was created by President Kennedy. Andrew Chaikin's A Man on the Moon took eight years to complete. I do a lot of research when I write a book. Um, I usually load up on the research pretty, pretty much at the beginning. Andrew Chaikin is currently working on two books. Right now I'm working on a book for NASA. The other book that I'm just now uh, trying to get launched is a book about the Pluto mission that I took part in. From Mystic Media, I'm Jacob Gathman. What an interesting interview on space. It sure was. From radio to TV, this man has nearly done it all in the entertainment business. Bob Eubanks kicked off the symposium with stories of his electrifying career. Eric Mathias has more. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome nine-time Emmy Award winner, the legendary host of the New Game, Bob Eubanks. Well, I'm going to talk about my career because the majority of my career took place during the 60s. It's when I got in involved in the radio business and the television business and the concert promotion business and really the majority of, of my career took place then. I'm still working but that's what I'll talk about tonight. I got some good stories. Uh, you know, my agent called me one day and said, hey, they're doing something really special in Bismarck and I said, well, I'll be there. Uh, that's basically what happened. Uh, but I, I have, you know, because I, I think I'm the, uh, I know I am, the only living person to have produced the Beatles concerts the three years they toured America. So I have some great Beatles stories. I have some Dolly Parton stories and Merle Haggard and, and television and game show stories. So I, I, I've, I've got a lot of fun to talk about tonight and I'm looking forward to it. Now, it's just a very interesting idea I've never heard of a 60s symposium before and I'm, and I'm thrilled to be here to partake in it too. Bob was a terrific speaker. He sure was. And behind the scenes of the interview, he said he was really excited to see this episode and we're ready to hear what he has to say. Speaking of Mr. Eubanks, he was the former host of the Newlywed Game. We decided to put our own twist to the popular 60s game show, so here's the Mysticast Dating Game. Welcome to the Mysticast Dating Game. Let's meet our couples. These couples have been together for less than three years and are all here to have fun. Starting at my far right, I've got Adam and Ellie. Next, I've got Katie and Andrew. And to my left, I've got Alexis and Garrett. First of all, I would like to ask you ladies to please leave the studio. And we'll get on to the guys' two questions. All right, guys, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. They're both worth a total of five points. First question is, guys, I need you to look at each other and tell me which of these guys your girlfriend would say looks like her most recent ex-boyfriend. 
Guy number one, what would you say? Uh, what's your name again? Garrett. Uh, I'd have to say Garrett. All right. Andrew, what would you say? I'd have to say Garrett, too. You're All a right. good looking guy. Garrett and Garrett, what would you say? Uh, what's your name? Adam. I'd have to say Adam. All right, guys, last question. What percent of your girlfriend's body to you is blank percent jawbreaker and blank percent jello? In your girlfriend's like, body, in your image, in your opinion, okay. jawbreaker is smoking hot, okay. jello, yeah, you know. Okay. Uh, I'd have to say she's 100% jawbreaker. And 0% jello? And 0% jello. All right. What about you, Andrew? Well, I mean, obviously, 100% jawbreaker, 0% jello. Okay. And what about you, Garrett? I'm going to go with 80% and 20%. All right, sounds good. All right, everybody, let's get the ladies back in here. All right, Allie, I asked Adam the following question. The guy, or I asked the guy, I need you to look at each other and tell me which of these guys your girlfriend would say looks like most her ex-boyfriend. Which guy do you think looks like your most recent ex-boyfriend? You say guy number three. And reveal your answer. You say guy number three? Yeah. All right, we're correct. Yeah. So that gives you five points to the total. All right, moving over to Katie. Oh, Katie, which do you think Andrew said looked like your most recent ex-boyfriend? Oh, God. I'm going to say Garrett probably again. You say Garrett? What do you say? Guy number three. Okay, that adds to five points. All right, let's move on to couple number three. Alexis, who do you think Garrett said would look like most of your ex-boyfriend? <laughs> guy number one. Guy number one. What is your answer? He said guy number one. <laughs> so each couple has a total yes. of five points. All right, Ellie. The second question was asked. Guys, I need you to think about your girlfriend's body and tell me what percent you think of your girlfriend is blank percent jawbreaker and what percent jello? 85%. Jawbreaker and 15% jello. Adam, reveal your answer. He said 100%. He said 100%. 100%, 100 jawbreaker. So you got the question wrong, but kiss up. Okay. <laughs> Katie, what do you think Andrew said? Okay. I'm going to say he said 100% jawbreaker. Oh, you think he's a kiss up, huh? <laughs> what did he say? I'm a 100 kiss up. 100% and 0% jello. That gives them five points to go total up to 10. Alexis, what do you think Garrett said? Um, 50-50. 50-50? Oh, okay. Garrett, what did you say? He said 80% jawbreaker and 20% jello. <laughs> I'm not that mean. Okay, yeah. All right. So Katie and Andrew are currently lead with 10 points. Now, guys, I'm going to have to ask you to leave the room. Would you say your boyfriend say he's too much of a man for you or you're too much woman for him? Ellie, what do you think? Uh, too much woman. Too much woman for him? All right, Alexis, what would you say? Too much man. Too much man for you? <laughs> and Katie, what would you say? Too much woman. Too much woman Definitely. for him? Yep. All right, let's move on to the second question. The second and final question for you guys, will your boyfriend say you think more of his friends need new faces, new brains, or new bodies? <laughs> Katie, uh, you go ahead first. I'm going to say new brains. New brains? Alexis, what would you say? I'm also going to say new brains. All right. And what would you think, Ellie? I'm going to go new brains, too. New brains? OK, we all, have a, we all have a common ground here. All right, let's bring the guys back out here, and we'll finish up the newlywed game. I asked the ladies, would your boyfriend say he's too much man for you, or, she's too or you're too man for her, or she's too much woman for you? She's too much woman for me. You think so? Ellie, reveal your answer. Said too much woman. Okay, that brings you guys up to a total of 10 points. All right, Andrew, what would you say? She's too much woman. Too much woman. Katie, reveal your answer. All right. Too much woman. All right, that brings you up to a grand total of 15 points. Garrett, what would you think Alexis said? Yeah, she's too much woman for me. Too much woman? <laughs> reveal your answer. Oh, he thinks you're too much man for her. <laughs> Ouch. All right, let's move on to the final question. Adam, what do you think Ellie said to this question? Will your boyfriend say you think more of his friends needs new faces, new brains, or new bodies? Let's go with new brains. New brains? All right, Ellie, reveal your answer. New brains! All right, that brings you up to a total of 15 points. 
Andrew, what would you say? New brains for sure. New, new brains? I That's agree with that, too. That's what Katie said. <laughs> All right, that brings you up to a total of 20. Garrett, what would you say? Uh, new faces. New faces? <laughs> New brains, Alexis said. <laughs> All right, well, that concludes the newlywed game. Thank you, guys, and thank you, Katie and Andrew, for winning a grand total of 20 points. And so ends another episode of Mysticast. What a great tribute to the 60s. Thank you for watching. The next episode's challenge will be the Whisper Challenge. See you next time on, on Mysticast. Mysticast.